capital city when its sports teams have accomplished big things. In 1924 and 27, the Grays were Memorial Cup champs. In the fall of 50, the Crescent's lacrosse team won the Manning Cup. It's a privilege and a pleasure to present the Manning Cup to the Old Sound team. Many of those same lacrosse players would take to the ice in the quest for the Allen Cup. They were part of the senior hockey team called the Mercuries, considered by many to be the best ever in Owen Sound. It was difficult to get a, a, a ticket. And, you know, I mean, that was the hockey. There's no hockey on TV. And um, it was the best hockey around. The team's best player and top scorer was Tommy Burlington, who was blind in one eye. He lost an eye in a, in a childhood accident with a uh, bone arrow. He continued to work playing hockey, and then he came up to Osan in 1939. Tom Burlington is definitely uh, the best Houston, the best uh, amateur hockey player in Canada. Not playing any NHL. Burlington led the Mercuries to a first place finish in the regular season and an amazing playoff run. They were down three games to two in the Allen Cup final against Fort Francis, but came back to win the championship in game seven, sending the fans into a frenzy. The team got uh, taken to the city hall in the fire truck and they had a big celebration and just a bit over 25 years old, so won four million titles and for the city. Size. That's I was visiting with Bob and Patricia Capel earlier this evening, and they were talking uh, about the goaltender, Hedley Smith. So Harry Applecheeks Lumley or Hedley Smith, hard to tell. More on that in the second intermission of our telecast this evening with Eric Swain. It's time now for our Dodge hometown highlight, and it's the Novice Selects earlier with Jennifer Byron. Especially at this age group, you know, we see a huge, huge uh, change in skill level really quickly. And uh, these guys have become friends really quickly and uh, practice a lot of the skills that they've learned and have a tremendous amount of fun in each game and practice. And as you talk about the fun, and I hear that no matter what the outcome is, this team has a pretty good tra tradition at the end of the game. Uh, yeah, we've, uh, it doesn't matter win or lose. Uh, the forwards and the defense smash into the goalie in boisterous cheers at the end of every game, regardless of the score, and you can tell the other team uh, usually just stands there and stares, not sure what's going on, so. Is that you guys? You guys usually have fun this season? Yes? Very great. Well, the celebration of our festival continues here at our hometown hockey again in Owen Sound. Hometown Highlights, brought to you by Dodge Caravan Kids, celebrating hockey coast to coast. Well, four-time Stanley Cup winner, 1,000 games in the NHL, 16 seasons. Kirk Maltby uh, was a tremendous player out of Cambridge and came to play for Owen Sound for three seasons. Before we get to that, uh, Kirk Landon's over there watching Dad, and he's a little hockey player. What's he playing now? Uh, it's just ADM in the program in, in Gross Point, Michigan. I was happy to hear he's a right-hand shot, yeah. just like Dad. Yeah. And, uh, you were a 50-goal sniper here. So maybe a, a reflection on your three seasons playing. What were his highlights? Oh, uh, well, like I said earlier, uh, the, this weather is typical Owen Sound. Uh, came up from Cambridge today and there's hardly anything on the ground and you come up here and it's uh, you know you can make plenty of snowmen out there right now but uh, I met a lot of great people and um, like I said uh, you know uh, a lot of people that are still here that still work at the rink uh, from when I played and the rink has changed a little bit with the, the renovations that they did which were, were much needed but uh, yeah I try to forget about that on the, you know could have found a better picture than, than that but um, but yeah I enjoyed my time here I had a lot of fun and, and enjoyment what was, this, was Andrew Burnett how did you get the 50 goals 
Uh, yeah, my my last year here, Andrew uh, uh, and I and Jimmy Brown played together uh, on the line, and uh, Andrew got to 51st, uh, and then I, I needed four of my last two games, and uh, Andrew was a big part of me, you know, not those last two games, but the entire year of, of being able to, to get to that point. Still, four and two games is fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations on that. Well, we were talking about the grind line, and Detroit won the Cups. I was saying yesterday, Kirk, Scotty Bowman said, okay, sign Eiserman, sign Fedorov, but I want to make sure you keep Fedorov, or sorry, keep Draper, <laughs> And Maltby and McCarty, although it was Joey Kosher first. Uh, let's get to the uh, 97 Cup. And this is the goal that really broke Philadelphia's back a shorthanded goal that you and Chris Draper uh, combined. Yeah, uh, well, uh, Brendan had a chance before that. I believe he started the penalty killing. And uh, and then I just happened to be in a position where Eric kind of attacked, uh, probably wanted to come at a forward because obviously for, forwards aren't as good as uh, backward skaters as, as defense are. And I was able to get a pull check and, and, and go. And I was getting ready to shoot the puck. And then I realized it was Chris beside me and, and uh, gave it to him and he gave it right back and I was able to get up over Hextel. And then the game winning goal in game two and they swapped goaltender so that was also, people yeah. thought that might have hurt Philadelphia going back and forth Hextel Snow. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, well, uh, I can't speak for them but for us, we you know we, we were a little bit surprised to be honest with you, you know, we'll get that far and then after one game but um, we were we were just happy to, to get those two wins there. That place, I, it's one of the loudest places I ever played during that time, and and uh, we were just happy to get the win. Now, Kirk, I picked what everybody thinks is the prettiest goal you ever scored, so we're going to show it. It's against Columbus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty good one. Yeah, I, kinda, one yeah I think, well, yeah, I, there wasn't too many to choose from, so at, at the NHL level at least. So, uh, yeah, kind of bubbled the puck there a little bit, but I was able to get control of it. But, um, yeah, no, I, I mean, I had a lot of great teammates to play with and, uh, you know, was playing with a lot of confidence at that time. So the game is, uh, you know, Canada's playing for a World Junior Gold. Uh, nobody will be watching that tonight, of course, for this big <laughs> show. But uh, when you're scouting now, uh, looking at what you accomplished in the National Hockey League, is there any change or is it co at core what it was when you played? Um, well, there's there was a lot of big guys back in the day when I was coming up, but uh, and there's a lot of big guys now, but the guys when I was younger didn't move like these big guys do now. I mean, it's amazing how big some of these guys are. And then uh, on top of it, the goalies, how big the goalies are. It's uh, The game is obviously faster. The rules have, have accomplished that, um, you know, to a certain degree. But the skill, the conditioning, and the, and the level of, of skill that these guys have and how they can control the puck at such a high speed, it's it's fun to watch. I mean, I get to watch uh, a lot of it now, so it's enjoyable. Even tonight, Brian Boyle, uh, Victor Hedman, the whole Tampa team, another uh, Bishop Sergio, they're all six foot nine. Yeah. Listen, Kurt, you were a class for Owens Town, you're a class for Detroit. Really appreciate you joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Rogers Hometown Hockey from the town he started for three seasons, Owens Sound.